Good morning. Hope you've had, all had a fantastic week. Uh, it's Friday again, so back to the weekend vlogging. I've just uh, turned up to the hospital for my radiotherapy treatment. It's another, uh, seems on a Friday, so I seem to have it in the in the morning, which is good because it gets it out of the way and off we go again. Lovely and sunny. Um, yeah, I hope you all had a, a, a good week. Um, radiotherapy, I think, has taken its toll a bit on me this week. Uh, a few nights, um, Wednesday and Thursday, I was just, just so tired in the evenings. But I've uh, got this one today, then it's two days off for the weekend, and then I've only got three more left after this. Um, and then that's that finished, so I can't wait for that. I'm going to try and get out for a walk today because it is a lovely sunny day. It's a bit chilly, but it is lovely and sunny. My favourite kind of day. Uh, I've got to set, try and sell, I'm selling my spray tan unit um, because I'm not going to be doing um, any more spray tan. So it's too repetitive on my arm. Uh, so I've been advised uh, not to do repetitive um, movements and that is up and down up and down I don't trust my left hand to be able to spray tan people they might become a bit blotchy I think so I need to try and sell that so if anyone's interested in a professional spray tan unit and tent then let me know uh, it's a good one it um, cost me quite quite a lot of money so it is a and it hasn't been used that much um, so yeah let me know if you if you're interested <music> So I'm back from the hospital, I had my radiotherapy, then I went to uh, Tesco to get a few little bits of food and then I picked up my ironing um, because my mother-in-law very kindly does that for me at the moment so I picked that up and then I was feeling really really tired so I did to try and have a little lay down on the sofa but they tell you to keep moving if you're feeling tired. So just walk around, post a letter, which I'm just about to do now because we're at the post box. Um, taking some clothes to the dry cleaners and then um, need to pop into the doctors as well to see if they can sort out a repeat prescription for my tablets that I need to take. So yeah, just keeping moving. In a minute, just gotta walk past somebody. I still feel a bit silly talking to my phone. I don't know why, because if I was FaceTiming Ashley or something, I'd walk along quite happily talking to him. But for some reason, you feel a bit silly. You sort of know that you're not talking to anyone other than a phone. So, I'm still a bit embarrassed to do that in front of other people. It has just started raining typical it was the sun come out and I thought oh quick it ran the shops but yeah it started raining I've nicked or borrowed Lucy's Fitbit she got a Fitbit a couple of years ago for Christmas she doesn't really use it as usual so I thought I'll borrow it so just seeing how many um, how many steps just on average I do in a day as well so just trying to get more keep more active ready for when I need to do more more running. Back from the shops, posted my letter, took the clothes to the dry cleaners, went to the doctors, even though they didn't know what I was talking about. Need a repeat prescription. I've got to have tamoxifen for five years. And I've only got 28 days worth. So the hospital said that they've emailed the doctors to tell them that they have to give me a repeat prescription but the doctors haven't received anything. So I need to phone the hospital to chase that up because I've only got like a week worth left. Uh, then I went Waitrose, got some bin bags and then did my little walk. So I only did about, probably about 20 minute, 30 minute walks, only a short walk. Um, I do enjoy walking just sometimes don't have time so I try to do 
you know, sort of like a 20 minute walk every day because it's supposed to help with the side effects of radiotherapy. Um, also the tamoxifen, one of the side effects of that is weight gain. Great. So um, trying to do walking to help with that too. Um, I've got a little while, not long, uh, before I go and get the girls. I'm going to try and make, see if I've got time to make some little dough ball things, but they're healthy dough balls um, and they are vegan ones as well. They're in this book called, I don't know if that's going to be back to front to you or not. Uh, but it says, oh, she glows every day. Um, and I'll show you the dough balls later. But they they look like that in the book. So mine do sort of look a bit like that. Um, but they don't last very long in this house because they are rather nice. So they sort of go very quickly. So I'm going to try and make them quickly before I go and get the girls from school. And they're super healthy super sweet they're very nutty so they've got uh, some cashews in it they have got some dairy free chocolate in um and they have got they're sweetened with maple syrup as well and um so i'm just gonna pop them in the fridge and then they're ready for when the girls get home perfect i know where to take them to the best places on a friday after school where are we chloe at the car wash at the car wash <laughs> did you have a good day at school what did you do? Oh, Lucy in the back. Oh, there comes the brushy things. It's going to get loud. Did you have a good day, Lucy? Yeah. She's just texting her boyfriend. She got yesterday. New boyfriend. How exciting. Brandy, you yeah. win. Yeah, if you want. Why is it stalker? You're just asking where he lives. Oh, I can turn it off because this is loud. Just um, preparing dinner. We've got vegetable curry. And I'm going to try potato and coconut samosas. I'm going to try these. I've not had them before. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. And then I'm also going to try something else. I've got in another magazine these mushroom. Excuse, excuse me, mushroom pakoras. Going to give them a go to go with the with the curry and the rice. And I have got some poppadoms as well. Um, but I'm a bit of a messy. Cook it, cooker, baker. I tend to have stuff everywhere. As you can see, it's just all spread out everywhere. So this is my veggie curry. In there we've got courgettes, broccoli, carrots, sweet potato, a little bit of pepper because I had some left over from the girls' lunch. Um, potato. I can't remember what else I've said now. Onion. See my spices and coconut milk. It's nice and creamy. And then a bit later on, once that's been started to simmer, I will add some uh, chickpeas into that as well. So hopefully it will all taste yummy. So we've had breakfast, and now they're trying to make slime oh. with ingredients that you find out the cupboard. We haven't even got yeah. So we're going to go and get some more ingredients later, some contact lens solution. It's not really working. No. Mine is. Good morning. I don't think I've uh, said good morning yet. Um, we've just... Uh, Chloe! <laughs> we've come to uh, the dog racing this morning. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. <coughs> Um, some putty. <laughs> it's glowing in the dark. You put it up to the light. You do that. It glows. Glow. Yeah. So we got to pick out. Just missed the first race. But we got to pick out. 
cat and a winning dog. Good luck. Batman's uncle. No, I'll go for this one. Our dog, race number two, dog number four, Batman's uncle. And uh, the lady at the desk just made my day because she asked to check my age because she didn't think I was old enough. So that's good. I said I look very good for my age. So, not doing bad for 72. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so oh, the dogs are out. So we did a number four for a place, that means they can come first or second and what happened? They didn't win, he comes second, which means we still win. Not a lot, but we all good. So we found a new friend. Come on, mate, let's take it. It's cute. You want a greyhound now? Back in the kitchen, making slime again. We've been to the well, shop. We know what we're doing now. We've now got contact lens solution. Can you get me a purple, we've please? No, blue one, please. Blue. We've got <laughs> <some> shaving <laughs> foam. We've got wobbly stuff. Foam. Good boy. Good boy. Good Mine's really fluffy. Mine's gonna be like a cloud. But it's not gonna be a cloud. Oh. What have you put in that one then? Uh, foam and glitter. Glitter. I need to sit down with mine. Okay, right. what's the next thing? Uh, uh, after the colour. After the colour. Uh, after that, it's contact lens solution. Oh, I think. Um, contact lens solution. I need a little drop of this. Smells nice. Oh, it's yeah. a shaving foam. Sunday and I'm making Orbeez slime. So I've only just put the um, glue in. So we've got the Orbeez. I'm using the pink ones. I'm going to use the pink ones because they drop the lid down the back Lucy of the bed the and they can't the get it out. So all yesterday they were making slime and this morning she's woke up and she's making more slimes. This is one of the slimes that she made. Now, making Orbeez slime, so we're using it from this book here. 
and I'm just about to just have a quick sit down with my cup of green tea. Green tea. Lucy's just washed her hair, needs to dry it, it's looking lovely. <laughs> and ugly. Oh, you making all these slides? Yep. I don't really know how to do it. Do you need glue? It's okay. Yeah, but you can do it with glue. Ugh! That's disgusting. Hmm. I might need a bit of glue more in there. I might need a little bit more glue. Hi. I haven't really um, vlogged much today. Did a little bit this morning. The girls have made quite a lot of slime today. We haven't really done much, really. Um, just got some bits done indoors this morning. The girls again making more slime. Uh, I then went, I coach and manage an under eights girls football team. So they had a futsal uh, game today, So which is the first one they've had. So I went to Gillingham uh, for that. Uh, everyone else stayed here. The girls had a friend over, so they went to the park and stuff. Um, and then it's quite late now. I haven't really, I haven't really done much. Uh, Craig's staying up late tonight because he's watching it's Super Bowl. In case you didn't know, um, so he's up, staying up late watching that. Obviously, it's American, so the timings mean it's quite late here or early in the morning here. Uh, for us to watch but he'll be watching that uh, I'm going to bed though because I've got my hospital appointment quite early in the morning so I've got I've still got to get up at normal time take the girls to school and then go straight to the hospital and then I'm meeting uh, a friend for coffee and then from there I'm meeting another friend for lunch so quite busy tomorrow so I'm hoping I won't feel too tired just moisturised uh, my skin where I have my radiotherapy. I try and moisturise that quite heavily over the weekend uh, because I don't have any treatments over the weekend. Uh, it's not going to create a barrier by putting it on. So I literally pile it on. I usually use coconut oil to try and keep it moisturised. It has started to go a little bit red this week, but only a little tiny bit. Um, but I saw the Macmillan nurse on Friday and she said that it can symptoms can happen uh, you can keep getting them for two weeks after so I thought I'd got away with it but there's still a chance it could happen I also just done my um, sort of massage that the lymphedema nurse taught me to help try and prevent um, the lymphedema in my right arm because um, I had my I don't know if I said before but I had my lymph nodes removed from my right armpit when I had my breast surgery um, because they found uh, cancer cells in there when I had the biopsy but either my healthy eating maybe or um, the chemo did its job because when they actually removed them there was no sign of cancer in them so that was good um, but obviously I am at lifelong risk of lymphedema so I do have to be careful with my right arm uh, so no heavy lifting no hot baths, no sort of sudden coldness. So it's the extremes of temperature and quickly, uh, it can't deal with it. So um, also I have to be careful of any sort of scratches, cuts, burns, sun. I haven't got to worry about that just yet, but in the summer maybe. I have to have sun cream on it at all times. Uh, nap bites, anything like that. Uh, that can cause the arm to swell so I have been given some massage to help with that so I am trying to do that as well because it does feel a bit little bit every so often it just feels like a little bit swollen not a lot just a little bit but I just have to I sort of learn that that means I've done too much with it and just calm it down a little bit and just do the the uh, the exercises that I've been given and the massage to help prevent that okay so um that's us done for the weekend. I uh, hope you all had a good weekend and I'll see you next weekend. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscribers up so I can beat the girls. They're, they've got more than me at the moment. Um, so I'm trying to catch up with them. So they're 
channel is the Parker Twins. It's more challenges and things. So if you wanted to head over there and uh, like and subscribe theirs. Um, and if you wanted to like and subscribe mine, I'd really appreciate it. So see you next weekend. Bye. Bye.